sorry. Um, well, I, I'm really quite discombobulated. I, I'm <laughs> absolutely... This has been such a wonderful evening for me. I, I feel that, in a way, I've sort of recharged my fading batteries and, and rediscovered uh, my idealism, uh, thanks, to, thanks to this wonderful audience and these marvelous commentators um, on, on, on what I said. Uh, I, I'm really, really sort of almost drunk with, with, <laughs> with pleasure, uh, but more than just sort of personal pleasure, with a sort of feeling that we are actually together and we are actually moving in some morally right and perhaps also practical uh, direction. Um, I want to make just one or two comments on, on what people have said. I, I, I'm sorry, um, Carrie, and I should have said more about the environmental crisis. It, there are bits and pieces in my notes, but I missed them out because I couldn't find, couldn't find them when I was looking for them. <laughs> it's not a very respectable reason, but anyway, no. <laughs> um, of, course, of course you're right. Of course you're right. And actually, I don't think that there is a contradiction between what you said and what Ed said about growth. I mean, I spent nearly the whole of my lecture attacking the fetish of economic growth at all costs and the belief that economic growth can only come from this particular dangerous, sick form of capitalism. But I also think that it, it's, I find it very, very hard indeed to conceive of a, of a society or an economy where there was no growth at all, uh, merely because people change, new things are developed. New, I'm, so I don't think there is a conflict between the, the, those two points of view. Um, but the thing that I really um, wanted, to, wanted to say, yes, I mean, just one small point first. I absolutely think that Compass should open up. Um, and uh, the more open it is, the better. Obviously, it is a tremendous thing you've done, Neil, a tremendous achievement. Uh, and the time has certainly come to incorporate a wider cross-section of people in it. Um, and I think that, that relates to the main thing I wanted to say, which was I was really pleased, really ple pre pleased, thrilled by what Ed said about the last of his points, I think it was, a movement. I think this is right. I think perhaps we ought to take, be able to take a leaf out of Obama's book when he was a candidate. No, I mean, he's been a bit of a disappointment since, but still, he did manage to create a popular movement uh, and become the figurehead and the symbol and also the architect of this movement. And all these kind of young people that uh, I think I think it was um, Francesca was talking about the horizontal the horizontal people uh, <laughs> with with their twitters and all that stuff that I don't understand. Uh, that is n that is necessary to it, but the, but the main thing that really heartened me this evening was to hear Ed say that he wants to lead. I think he was saying he wants to lead. Um, I hope he did. Uh, he should anyway. <laughs> a movement, a movement, and not just a party. Uh, and I think maybe this gathering tonight could be seen as as perhaps the first the first step towards a movement. So thank you very much for all being so nice to me, much nicer than I deserve, uh, and, I, and I'm drunk with pleasure. Thank you, David. Um, you stand as an example to us. You get better with age, and I'm thinking about the Compass annual lecture in 10 years' time. When you're 86, not 87, um, uh, and you can come back and talk to us again about what's happened in terms of this realignment of the mind. And at that moment, Ed Miliband will be standing for his second term as leader <laughs> of our country. As a new horizontalist. As a new horizontalist. <laughs> Francesca Klug will be the Home Secretary. The... The Chancellor will be Caroline Lucas and the, Health and the Health Secretary will be Evan Harris. So we look forward to that moment. Thank you so much for being here and coming and making this such a fantastic evening.